Hi guys, so I'm starting on stage two now, blocking in details. I've already started adding some detail, just roughing in some um, branches, twigs on both sides. Uh, just doing a bit of shading on the background mountain range and this mid ground uh, part of the mountain that's coming down, and you can start to see some of the greens, faded green tones of trees of the forest land on that mountain hillside. Um, I'm going to start working on the sky now, put the second layer of paint on the sky to try and make that come to life more. But that first layer gives me an idea of the colours and tones I want within the sky and where I want them. Um, so I'm going to get on with the sky and after that I'll start shaping the trees, doing the different tones from the different trees so that you start to see the separate elements um, and um, I'll work my way down with the second layer what I've already done in the mid layer, just put in the branches some branch detail, some of those branch details obviously would disappear as I start to build up leaf detail but I want some of those branches, some parts of the branches visible. So yeah, again, just going to work from the top down. So, time to mix some colours. So I'm going to start with the darker shades first away from the sun and then come down with the brighter shades. So that's like a second layer of paint on the sky now, but remember guys, that's not the finishing stage. The next stage is the finishing stage where I have the finer details, little highlights on the clouds and low lights. But that's just blocking in the second layer of colour to make it more dominant now, vibrant. The finishing work comes at the next stage. Now I'm going to start blocking in leaves on the trees, different tones of leaves, working one side top to bottom, then the other side top to bottom. Okay guys, so I've mixed some, a shade of green, and I'm just spotting in the illusion of leaves on this tree, on the branch. And I'll be doing a lot of this because I want to see dark tones, shadows beneath the leaves where the light's not catching and uh, mid tones and some highlighted tones where the sun's hitting leaves and they're brighter. So this 
it's a lot of laborious work doing this but it's worth the effort if you want to add some realism to the tree so it takes a lot of patience to do this level doing all this and I'm just using a number one round brush for this As you can see I'm blocking in different tones now, make some leaves start to appear um, using light medium tones and dark tones. I'm just working on light tones at the minute just to, so you can see where branches are. Makes the branches stand out more makes it more obvious what's happening, which trees are which.
Oh, it's been a long day. Started about 9.30 a.m. and it's now... There's my uh, phone. It's now 9.22, Monday evening, Monday night time. So I've been at it, set for breaks, for lunch and dinner and snacks. It's been a long day. Almost 12 hours since I started it today. But I'm going to call it quit soon because I'm starting to get tired. And I'll pick up tomorrow. That's all I can do, day by day, just adding detail. Taking a break, coming back to it, and looking at it, and seeing, okay, I don't like the look of that, I need to darken that area up. I need to lighten that area, or whatever. I need to put more shadow just here, and Tweaking and tweaking, detail, detail. Good morning, guys. Tuesday morning now. This is day four. And uh, gonna get back on with blocking in details, stage two. showing up on camera 
Maybe I should just pull the camera a little closer. So if you can see what I'm doing in this area, giving the illusion of trees in the distance. And that'd be small, lots of conifer trees. Bear with me while I pull the camera back. Alright guys, I'm going to stop here, I'm going to go get a cup of tea, need a break, and I'm getting sore shoulders, so I'll see you soon. Hi guys, so what I'm doing now is I'm starting to block in some grass detail, I'll be blocking in different tones. I'm using a, a Dager brush for this, it's an angled brush which I can use to get a thin line so I've mixed a darker shade of green at the minute sort of a bluish dark shade of green and I'm working in the shadowy areas here I'm just all I'm doing is just creating blades of grass just vertical lines at different angles and uh, just like the leaves on the trees I'm just going to patiently do this this is the first layer of this There'll be, I'll be doing more detail building it up slowly just like with the tree detail laborious just like doing tree detail again but stick with it do it and uh, just add in detail 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 and being patient about doing that just helps to bring everything to life
guys, so I'm back with this painting now, the uh, Smoky Mountain Sunrise. Um, <clears throat> level 2 is dry, it's had all week to dry. I was uh, both Ruth and myself got a little sick with the virus, so I was kind of knocked down for a few days. Um, wasn't Covid, did a Covid test, home test, came back negative. Um, but sort of all in the head and chest, throat. <clears throat> Still hoarse now. But anyway, I don't have a fever so I've come back. This is dry and I'm ready to start the final stage, the finishing stage. And as per the previous two stages, I'm going to work from the top down, start with the sky, and then go to the trees at the side, do those, do the mid-ground, foreground, um, just doing the final detail work and the final tones, finishing tones, highlights, low lights, and uh, I'll um, then when that's done, the final thing will be to do the sun rays, the beams that are coming off the sun, and illuminating these areas. And that'll be the final touch. So. It's probably a couple of days work doing this, working from the top down, say 16 wide, 20 inch high uh, canvas, it's not a small canvas. Well anyway I've prepared a fresh palette and I'm about to run out of battery power. So I'm going to pause, charge the battery. Hi guys, so while I was waiting for the battery to charge up I started working on the third layer on the sky and some highlight work on that mountain range in the background. I'm just going to do some work on this mid um, range here where the mountain hillside is coming up here. So I'm just going to work in this area and then I'll get up on the trees. back so I can see what's going on in this foreground because when it was straight it's in shadow 
now can see from the light what's going on around here. So I'm going to start working in this area. Start adding some tones. Um, <coughs> yeah, just add tones and then just do the odd blade of grass here and there to give you the idea. Once the eye sees that there's a few blades of grass here and there, the brain just automatically says that that's grass. So you don't have to do millions of grass blades because it goes out of focus the further you go away. So in the foreground, we'll just show some obvious blades. And then um, it's more the different shades and tones from the shadows, the light and dark, that I'm interested in doing. <coughs> the stand tripod and I'll scan the camera around more close up so bear with me so I've taken the camera off the tripod and uh, just going to show you a view of this head on Got a lot of the bright light over it is creating glare Maybe if I pull the easel towards me, get rid of some of the bright glare. So that's how it's looking guys. When this is dry I'll see you when I put the sunbeams in and any other touch up details. See you then. Cheers for now. Alright guys, so this painting's now finished. Um, I've added the sun rays and I've signed the bottom right corner. 
I thought my camera was recording when I was doing the sun rays and it wasn't. I turned the camera on, I set up the position of the camera, looked inside the camera screen to get the position correct, started painting and talking away for an hour while I did the sun rays and then when I finished I went to turn the camera off and it was already off, it wasn't recording. So. I was a bit bummed out by that, but anyway, sorry about that, I'm getting old, that's what it is. I added the sunrise, all that is is just a glaze of colour, uh, so using the Liquin original made by Winsor & Newton and uh, just adding a touch of colour to it, so you've got a translucent medium basically, colour translucent medium and uh, and then just brushing it on and uh, just start with where you imagine is the center of the sun and work your way out and uh, I added like a, a faint orangey yellow tone to the glaze and I put in five sun rays that are visible and that's it and then I thought okay I think I'm done now that was the last thing I wanted to get done and then I signed the bottom right end so I hope you like it guys that's this one done complete on with the next I'm just going to zoom in while we sit here so you can see different areas of it Try to achieve like a glow on those leaves that are being hit by the sun. So guys, let me know what you think. Oops. Leave comments below. And uh, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe, like the video, subscribe, click the bell icon, and then you'll be updated with notifications on when the next video is posted to my YouTube channel. And if you've watched this series, from start to the end much appreciated thanks for following and uh, if you've never painted before I hope what I'm doing is giving you some encouragement to give it a try you never know you might love it just like I do and I only started July 21st all right cheers for now guys I'll see you at the next video have a good one bye